welcome everybody my name is the IT guy and in this video we'll be looking at how to uh, share a printer in Windows 10 so in this video the first thing I'm going to show you is a few things you need to check before uh, beforehand so let me quickly go over the first thing so you'll need to make sure that your computer is on a private network both computers are on a private network and they need to be on the same network so you cannot um, work on external locations unless you're using something like a VPN but this is that's out of the scope of this video this is just a simple tutorial on how to share a printer in a small uh, network like a home network or a uh, you know a me small to medium business network so first thing you'll need to do is make sure that the that the network is set to private and not to public uh, otherwise the PCs will not be able to communicate with each other so that's necessary so um, let me quickly go over to this little icon over here so this is the internet icon so right click this and open network and internet settings and over here you'll meet, need to make sure that we are on a private network and this is on the um, server computer so this is on the computer where the printer is installed so what we're going to do is we're going to give access to the printer in um, on this machine specifically so we're gonna do um, we are going to be uh, sharing the printer we're going to open up the printer for sharing and then any computer within the network uh, is going to be able to uh, print on that specific uh, computer and on that specific printer um, so this is not a video that's going to show you how to connect a network printer because that is going to be different for any type of printer you're going to have to install different kinds of software and it's also a different uh, it's a different uh, work around for that within Windows so I'm just going to show you how to open up the printer uh, for sharing and then connecting it on the client computer so this is the first check uh, you're using a private network the next thing you'll need to be sure is uh, whether the computer has a password so the computer where the printer is installed if there is no password you'll need to disable password protected sharing if it's not then we're just going to use uh, the username and the password provided within uh, the computer um, where the printer is installed so you're just going to use the same you're going to use the same password and username but we're going to go over to sharing options first and let me go over to all networks down here and here over here there is password protected sharing make sure that's turned off because by default Windows turns it on and when it's turned on you'll always need to provide a password so um, if you if you if you turn it on and you have a password on the PC where the printer is installed you're just just going to enter the username and the password of the user account you're using to share the printer on but we are not we don't have any password on this computer so we're going to turn it off and even if you have a password and you don't want to turn on protected uh, you, you don't want to use the password you can just turn it off if you trust anybody in the house or in the network to print on the on the printer you can just turn this off and you won't be um, prompted to enter a password so uh, of course this is not really uh, security wise if you're uh, if you want to be sure, be sure that only certain people can print on the printer um, then you want to turn this off and people have to provide a, uh, a password always but if you you know if you're sure that nobody in the, in the house is a uh, it's not trustworthy if, if you if you put it like that then uh, if everybody can be trusted to print on the pr PC on the printer then uh, it's safe to turn this off actually so let's close this up and let's close this up and let's go into our uh, settings menu here now let's go over to devices and then let's go over to printers and scanners and over here is our LaserJet Pro the MFP M125 so let's go over to manage let's go over to printer properties and then go over to sharing then we're going to click the change sharing options here and we're going to enable share this printer and then you can name this whatever you want so the share name is going to be HP LaserJet Pro uh, we're just going to call this one HP LaserJet um, desktop 
or I just call it downstairs because it's the printer that's downstairs. So HP LaserJet downstairs is going to be our share name. This is going to be a lot easier to remember instead of having all of those uh, fancy, um, you know, uh, all these fancy uh, things here <laughs> that we're going to have to enter. So just apply this and uh, let's hit OK. And this should be everything we need to do. Now let's go over to the PC uh, where we want to install the printer and let's go over the um, the quick, let's just go over to the steps to install the printer on the client side of the computer. So now we are on the client side of the computer, uh, actually the, the, the client side of the network, let's just call it that. So this is the machine where you want to be able to print from. So we just installed the, we just opened up the printer for, um, you know, being a, we just opened up the printer for sharing. So the, the printer is now sh being shared within the network. Now let's go over the steps to uh, be able to install this printer we just opened up for sharing on the PC where we want to be able to print from. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is also check if uh, this PC is in a private network. So over here, we are in a private network. We are not in a public network. And if you want to change this, you go over to change connection properties. And over here, if it's set to public, you can easily um, set this to private. This is the same thing on uh, the server side. So on the side where you be open the printer up for sharing, you can change this from public to private very easily over here and if you go back and we go back again we'll see that the Ethernet connection we are working with is set to a private network and this is exactly what we need so let's close this window over here and let's go into our settings menu again let's go into devices let's go to printers and scanners and let's go over to add a printer or scanner it's going to search for printers and scanners and most likely it's not going to be able to find the printer um, because you know because the printers are most likely not listed over here so the printer i that i want wasn't uh that i want isn't listed i'll just click this over here and then we're going to select a shared printer by name over here you can click browse and if you get the notification that you do not have, uh, if network uh, the discovery is not turned on, you can just click it and enable it. So this is a little pop-up that might appear over here. So you just, can just go ahead and uh, enable that. Uh, on my computer, it's already enabled. That's why I don't get the pop-up. And now we are going to go over to our um, previous computer so we're just going to have to, to take note of the uh, server computer so the computer where the printer is shared so I'm going to go over there with my team viewer here so we are now working on the computer again where the printer is shared and we just want to go over to the start menu right click it go over to system and then we want to take note of the device name so this is XLEB so this is the name of the computer over here. We just want to take note of that and just minimize over here. And now we want to go into our address bar and we want to do double backslash, very important, backslash, not forward slash. And then we want to enter the name of the computer. So XL-EB. And if we go over here, we can find the HP laser jet downstairs. And this is just going to show you every single uh, thing that is shared on this computer. And we do see that the HP laser jet downstairs computer we just opened up for sharing is available over here. So we're just going to select this. We're going to click next. And there we go. We just click next again. We can print a, we can print a test page. And the printer seems to be printing over here yeah this is perfect this works uh, just the way we wanted it so now if we go over to any um, whatever program this is going to be appearing so if i would open up uh, like word if i would just open up word for example we can easily go into file print and 
there we go the printer is listed within our word uh, program over here and we can easily print from within the computer and this is actually the same thing you need to do for any computer you can install this on any computer and also if you if you're working on Wi-Fi uh, this icon will just be um, you know the little Wi-Fi icon and it, it's basically the same uh, icon over here whether I work on a desktop so I'm working with a wired connection so this was just a little tutorial of me showing you how to install a shared printer in a Windows network. Uh, I hope this video helped you out guys and if it did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.